four of our uh, Avalanche Skills training course. For myself, it's been a really successful course and I've seen a lot of growth in uh, Jason and Blair just as far as they're, they're developing their systems and they're, they're looking at things in terms of that integration of how all the pieces fit together. Whistler, Pemberton, Squamish area, doing the AST2. So we did one day just off the resort. Digging profile pits, just getting comfortable. Day two was a full class day. That was like a more technical day, learning the terminology behind all the metamorphosis that snow goes through. Day three we came out to a hut in Duffy Lake area. My name's Penny Goddard and I'm an avalanche broadcaster with Avalanche Canada. This is our um, office here in Revelstoke. Go to our website and you'll come up with a map with all of our avalanche bulletin regions. And if you move your mouse around on that map, you'll see a bunch of danger ratings at different elevations. And that's kind of the first tier or the first level of our forecast product. Gives you a brief overview of the level of danger in different parts of the province. And then if you click on one of those areas, then you can delve into more detail about what type of avalanche problems there are, where they exist in the terrain, and then some advice about how to manage those problems. What you can do with the, the skills that you learn on the course is take what's a big picture view and really tease out the information that's relevant and also learn to recognise the specific terrain and micro terrain that you're travelling through where those problems are going to exist. saw the ability to now reach into that toolbox and grab the appropriate tool for the decision that needs to be made. You know, every day we walk away from the mountains, is, it's a good day.